Hey great people, what's going on? It's Sardina Great here again with another Air Force related video and we are still on this deployment topic guys. This video, like I promised last time, is going to be a packing list of some sort. So first off, whenever you deploy, the Air Force is going to provide you with all of the essentials that you need, like your uniform, you know, um, pretty much issued items that you're going to need for work. As far as personal stuff goes, you have to provide them for yourself. Um, Chances are you're going to be taking a plane to wherever you're going to be deployed to, so you're going to want to pack essentials. But because you're taking a plane, you're going to need to take travel size like soaps and travel size hair products. So they sell these little like containers at Walmart or like travel size, and you can put like your normal hair care products in there if you can't find them in like a to-go size container. Um, so those are the essentials you're going to want to get. But almost every deployment location. For Air Force anyway, you're gonna have a BX or somewhere where you can buy those essentials. So just bring some stuff that you have, you know, for the time being until you're able to get there. Uh, also, you're gonna want to bring only a week worth, possibly, of civilian clothing. Some stuff, something to change into after you get off of work and when you're going to sleep, and then something for your day off or your days off. It's a uh, different for everybody. Like for my deployment. Um, my hours are longer than they were at my duty station, and um, I get one day off instead of two days off because, you know, deployment, you're taking care of a mission, you know, so you're going to be a lot busier, so keep that in mind. You don't need to bring too many civilian clothes, uh, research whatever the weather's going to be like, you know, for the time when you're going to be in that deployed location, so you can pack accordingly. But remember, you do not have to pack a lot. Don't carry more bags around with you at the airport that you don't need to. As far as essentials, that's all that you really need for your deployment. Um, as far as things that just make your life a little bit easier, headphones are a great thing to have because chances are you're gonna have a roommate on your deployment and maybe your roommate doesn't want to hear music or when you're in the barracks here for deployment, you know, it's quiet hours. So make sure you have your headphones so you can listen to your music watch videos and even on the plane and stuff like that. I didn't bring this, but I saw a few people bring this and it's such a great idea. Bring a projector. So you can buy like a small like Bluetooth projector off of Amazon from anywhere from like 40 bucks to up. You know, the prices can vary depending on what kind you want with extra features and stuff like that. But it's so convenient because you can use it for your gaming system. You can want, you can use it um, for like Netflix, whatever you want. So that way when you get your deployed location, you don't have to buy a TV. That is a great investment and it doesn't cost too much. You can get a cheaper end one considering you're probably only gonna use it for your deployment. And also the plus side to that is for the people that didn't bring one, once you get here, if you don't want it anymore, you can just sell it or give it away to somebody, keep things circling. Also bring anything that you can that you're gonna want. Like, uh, I use a hair sponge. I made, I made the mistake of only bringing one that was already kind of like partially used. And for those of you who don't know, they wear out like kind of fast. Like mine, mine's falling apart and you know, it's still doing the job, but I really need to get a new one. Like sometime soon. For most locations you're gonna be able to order items and have them sent to like your workplace and you pick them up there um, but if you don't want to wait for like you know certain kind of essential items then just make sure you pack those with you like also if you um, if you vape bring like a stock of vape juices um, if there's like a specific snack that you like maybe like you know Rochelle from Everybody Hates Chris who like turtles like maybe bring pack of like a value pack you know like a good amount of that pack of snacks for you to hold on to while you're here uh, also family can send you stuff but you know so that you want to have so you know maybe your, your comfort snack or you know your hair sponge maybe an extra phone charger you know just some stuff that you do not want to go without and you don't want to have to wait to order also on deployment you're not going to have a crazy amount of free time because on deployment you are taking care of the mission you're doing more work than anything but in your free time uh, you should have something to do you know like draw maybe make music on your phone bring your gaming system anything that you could do to occupy your time that you know you'll enjoy instead of just sitting in your bed because depending on your location you might not have much to do 
like around you. Last but not least, make sure you pack a good attitude. This is the same thing at your duty station, but even more when you're deployed because you're gonna be working more. You might be under more stress. You're gonna be away from your loved ones, so make sure you pack a good attitude. Um, always try to look at the positive side of what's going on. Um, if you're deployed currently, you're watching this video, just think about the fact that, you know, once you leave your deployment and you go home, you're gonna be with your family again. Uh, you're gonna be able to pay off your car. You're gonna be able to maybe buy your new car. Some people buy a post deployment car. I don't recommend it, but hey, live your best life. <laughs> you know, you only live once. Be safe, be smart, but also enjoy yourself. Just think about all the great things that's gonna happen after you get off of this deployment. Think about the job that you're doing. Think about the mission that you're completing while you're under deployment. Think about the experience that you're gaining while you're deployed. Like, really think about the good side of stuff. Like I said in the video before, there's always a good side and a bad side. But if you only pay attention to the bad side and only highlight the bad side, you're never gonna even notice the good side. So, with that in mind, make sure you pack a positive attitude as well as all that other stuff. So, like I said, just a little recap, you want to make sure you pack your travel size essential items, pack some stuff that you might have to order online, um, some things that maybe you're going to run out that you don't want to have to necessarily wait for, a projector so you can, you know, watch Netflix or use your gaming system or anything like that with it without having to buy a TV because you can't really bring a TV with you on deployment. Uh, a hobby, so if that's your gaming system, your laptop, maybe yeah, a, a Rubik's Cube. I can solve this, by the way, just so you know. My time is like a minute and 20 seconds. But bring something to occupy your time and a great attitude. Uh, always look at the positives. And guys, things really vary per deployment. So it's hard to say like, you know, everybody's deployment's gonna be the same because it's not, because every location is different. Every job is different. But hopefully you guys grabbed some valuable information from this video. Hope it helps you out. Uh, if there's anything else that you guys want to know, you know what to do. Put your questions down in the comments. Hit me up on my social media pages, and I'll make sure to get back to you. So, until next time, guys, stay great.